Hi guys, it's Sam and welcome to my Inktober challenge. I wanted to share with you my Inktober preparations and tools and share some helpful tips and tricks for the Inktober challenge. So for all of you who do not know anything about the Inktober challenge, it is very simple. You draw one picture of any kind in ink each day during October, therefore the name Inktober. You should upload your art then online to any social media. For each day, you can follow a so-called prompt list. The founder of the Inktober challenge, Jake Parker, uploads the official prompt list each year so other artists can follow it as well. It consists of 31 words that can inspire your drawings each day. So you can challenge yourself to draw something specific to that day's prompt or create your own prompt list. I did use some of the official prompts and some other random words to inspire my drawings. But before we start, we have to select our materials. For this event, I used my sketchbook from Hanemühle that was included in Jezza's Jazzy art box, which I love by the way. You will see many more materials and tools from that box in this and the following videos. They are such high quality goods. Then we have erasers. I love this pen shaped eraser for the details. You will see me using it a lot in the following videos. For sure we have some mechanical pencils for the underdrawing and sketching. And lots of ink fine liners in different sizes, from 0.05 to very bold ones as well as various brush markers. I used all kinds of brands like Fine Liner Graphics by Marabu, Tombow brush pens, Copic multiliners and Faber-Castell artist pens. I used this Tombow brush pen for all the lettering in my sketchbook, so for the prompt list and the single prompts each day. I used some standard paint brushes for the ink and again some fine liners from Faber Castell. I used some Colorex ink, this is cobalt blue. I used also India ink in most of my drawings. Some gold ink from Winsor & Newton. You really have to shake it before you use it to um, dissolve the pigment at the bottom. And some white ink from Dr. PH Martins uh, in pen white to erase some mistakes and um, add some highlights. I used the compass to create some circular shapes and some Copic sketch markers in gray colors, but I used also different colors that I don't show here and for sure a ruler to draw some straight lines. And some very dirty paint water containers. And last but not least, I used this glass pen that I got from my dad, from a glass blower uh, company. And it has this little stand. And that's it for the materials. So let's get into decorating our first pages. I didn't want to use the first page beside my prompt list, so I thought I embellish it with some cute Ghibli characters. I'll let you enjoy the time lapse here and come back to you later.
my Inktober drawing videos are coming soon, so ring that notification bell to get notified when I upload that video. So after I embellished my front pages, I created some thumbnails for the videos. And then I started to gather inspiration for the different prompts for each day. And for that I created some pin boards on Pinterest with um, the different prompts. I always do that before drawing to spark some ideas and collect reference pictures for my Inktober drawings. And that's it you guys, now start your Inktober challenge and have some fun. Thank you for watching, tschüss and bye bye.